Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Samsung released NiceShot. Now this application enables us to have full control on how our device does screenshotting or even screen recording. We can customize the type of images we're using when we're doing screenshots and we can also customize the type of video from quality to audio, to system audio, a lot of different things all in one module integrated into GoodLock 2019. This is TK, let's check them out. Like and subscribe as usual and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you get all of the notifications whenever we push out new videos on the channel. So the application we're talking about today is called NiceShot and it again it's part of the GoodLock suite of applications that we can use to customize our device. If you're not in the market where GoodLock is available, there is a link in the description that'll be for you guys to be able to sideload this using APK Mirror. But for the most part, the main thing that you want to talk about today, or we want to talk about today, is NiceShot. Now it's available on both systems, and I just have the darker UI turned on here, and I actually have it already set up. Some of the main features that we have here is the ability of changing the format for the actual screenshotting app. Meaning by default, it used to take PNGs. We can actually now let it be JPEGs or PNGs, whichever you'd like. You can also set it up when you're actually recording the video. There is a re screen recording option in here. Uh, you're able to basically exclude the system UI elements, meaning the buttons or the navigation bar. The last thing, of course, here we have deleting the file after sharing. This is something if you want to turn it on, it will give you that option when you're doing so. And as far as screen recording, and that's going to be part of the actual UI, you have the ability of recording it either by muting the audio using system audio. So let me show you what it looks like here on the better looking screen here. Uh, you can actually use system audio and the mic or just system audio. So let's say you're recording an application, you're playing a game, you can do that right away. And of course, you could just mute it by means of just recording audio. For me here, I'm using system and I will keep it in here and it'd be the same thing. You can customize the, we'll go back. We can customize the video quality. Unfortunately, there's no formatting as far as just what quality it is. There's low, medium, and high. I'll keep it on high. And what we also have the ability of doing now is also tagging and basically setting up a certain hashtags in the images that you're screenshotting. Uh, by default, you can turn it on or you can keep it off if you don't want to do that. It's just a better way of organizing your images. And now everything else that we do now will basically work the exact same way we've done it before. Uh, to take a screenshot, use volume down and power, press it in, you take an image. And then you'll notice right there, there's a two couple of options there. If I hit the little video option, it's asking me to use the microphone since I want it. I'll say agree. And at this point, you'll see this little option right there with a little drawing option here. So an example would be, uh, let's say I want to show you guys a specific game on the Play Store. I'll go ahead and hit the Play Store. I'll open it up. I want to show you guys this little Dragon Ball game. And I'll go ahead and turn on the pen tool. I'll go to blue and I'm going to go ahead and draw over. And then I'm going to initiate another screenshot. And now this screenshot will have that. And once I remove the pen tool, this goes away and I can actually go back into using the UI the way I was using it before. Uh, gestures and everything gets working fine. If you have system and audio, all of the stuff that you're doing there are very nice because you can actually now record them and share them. And when you're done, just go ahead and click it and hit the stop button. And for the most part, it takes just a quick second. And then you go into screenshots. You'll notice that's the screenshot that I took for you guys. And here we have it is under video screenshots. I'll click that. you'll see this little option right there with a little drop away and I can what that you're doing there. And you can see it's very easy, very simple to be able to customize it and use all of the features that you have there. Now that other option that we saw before was the hashtagging. I'll go ahead and initiate it and let's say we just took this image. I'll click the little hashtag and then you can customize different hashtags you want to add. Obviously it knows I'm on Nova Launcher. I can create additional ones. I can add them and I can hit save and it'll save it as part of the image. Uh, the main benefit here is that this really just augments the way we do screenshotting. It's no longer just taking a screenshot. Let's go ahead and take another screenshot and just basically doing, you know, the scrolling screenshot, which is normal to what we have. And that's very useful if let's say you're using it in a feed. So let's go ahead and go over to the Google feed. And this would be perfect here. So what you do here is that you, you click the screenshot and then you can go down at the bottom and say scrolling screenshot. And it's going to keep scrolling down the page and adding more images to your image. So you'll hit one more. Till you till you basically done to with the with the screenshot if you're doing a web page and of course it'll save it for you when you're done and then you can just go ahead and click and then go away once you're done with that you go into the uh, library itself we're able to see the big one and you can actually zoom into it and make sure that obviously it'll, it'll look exactly the same way on your device very very nice and again all of the same functionality you normally have to be able to edit your image uh, as far as just cropping it going in there doing different things the one thing i do want to mention to you guys is that by default the gaming mode that we have built into samsung devices allows us to actually do screen recording as well as screenshotting but this is more dedicated directly within the gaming mode what we have now is the ability of using that entire ui directly 
from our screenshotting mechanism by just being able to jump directly into it and it'll start recording and it does not actually record the button just keep in mind and you have the ability of annotating taking images and of course making a very custom video directly for whomever you want to share it with off your screen with your own voice to narrate this module is now available part of goodlock 2019 so you do need to have a device that's running one ui at least 1.0 with goodlock 2019 so in galaxy s8 um, s8 plus note 9 note 8 any device between those families and of course the s10 line of devices with the s9s and note 9 as well um, as long as you're running one ui and you have goodlock installed and you're in a supported market you're definitely going to enjoy a uh, nice shot it's a very nice and a very powerful tool like and subscribe as usual, share this with all your friends that have Galaxy S line devices or even a device that has one UI 1.1 or greater and uh, they're definitely not going to regret it. It's a great powerful tool to have in your arsenal on your brand new Galaxy device. This is TK, I'll see you guys in the next video.